This week on Technique Tuesdays, we're going to talk about the two title defences. That's right, Jonathan Gresham performed what we call in professional wrestling, double duty. First up, let's take a look at the tag team title defense. You've got champions Jay Lethal and Jonathan Gresham of Foundation defending against tag team specialists Mark Briscoe and PCO. This is Ring of Honor Wrestling, okay? This ain't no fight. Come on, let me see you wrestling. The champions collectively seven and eight. Ooh, breaks out of the hammerlock with a back elbow. Yeah. That's not rough. The strategy at the start didn't go perfectly for Foundation, and here's why. They were asking, they were almost like looking for a gentleman's agreement between them and Mark Briscoe and PCO about they were going to abide by this style of wrestling that is more inducive to Foundation, more like the pure style, but this is not a pure match. Now, less experienced competitors may have fallen into that trap of playing someone else's game, but Mark Briscoe and PCO were not going to do that. No. I know, that's what we're this is not way. fighting, this is... This is what they're talking about. This is why we're trying to clean this place up. Hey, clean this place up. Jay Lethal has been to the top of the mountain many times in many divisions, but tonight he made it clear in his pre-match comments that tonight was all about playing the supporting role for Jonathan Gresham, who had two title defenses, and he said, we are looking to finish this match as quickly as possible. Jonathan Gresham, and this is a match I never knew I wanted to see, Caprice. <laughs> Gresham with PCO. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I PCO? Love, PCO, I love it. Just staring down Gresham, and Gresham's not backing down to his credit. Well, Gresham knows that, get ready to say, Gresham knows there's joints that could be manipulated, there's sides that could be distorted, and there's wrestling to be done. Anybody can be broken down! You can see Jonathan Gresham frustrated, calling for pure wrestling. He's angry that his ideals of what Ring of Honor should be aren't currently being held up at this point in the match. But that is met with a huge fist right to the face from PCO. He's got a game plan here. PCO breaks it with the closed fist. This is not a pure match, so those are legal caprice. And here is when it goes wrong for Jonathan Gresham. He points at PCO, almost complaining that he's been hit with a closed fist. And what does PCO do? He sees that opportunity. He snatches the arm. He pulls him right up onto his feet he goes to slam him and just throws him right out of the Champions. ring because they're one oh, oh my god, god. Yeah. Yeah. tag made now see this is the type of move that will hurt you for the rest of the night now for someone who has two title defenses that night that is the last situation you want to be in yep Quebec Cannonball! And somebody call Bill Cullen, we got a blockbuster! However, Jay Lethal and Jonathan Gresham are the champs for a reason. They are undoubtedly two of the best professional wrestlers in the world, regardless of the vision. Jonathan Gresham is in the ring with Mark Briscoe and Jay Lethal seamlessly inserts himself into the ring to make the save. He is able to evade Mark Briscoe three times at which Jay holds onto the ropes. Now let's pause it here. For the last two of those three evasions, Jay was ducking his head down, which meant that in order to evade it, Mark could leapfrog up. So he's expecting that again, and Jay sets that trap beautifully. The only thing that's there is Jonathan Gresham waiting for him, and here's the beauty of this maneuver. He jumps into the air, Gresham catches him into the German suplex position. What Mark has done is effectively half of Gresham's work for him. He's put himself into midair, Gresham just has to clasp him there, and watch how Jay Lethal comes in to add extra momentum. And just like that, Foundation are back in charge. Beautiful work from Foundation. And, and this this move ends matches, it wins titles, and ends title matches, Caprice. But he called it out. Yeah. Nice! Wow! Folks, I'm not going to spoil the matchup for you, but what is about to happen is absolutely must see. Jonathan Gresham goes to the top rope, and his intention is to hit a shooting star press. Now, I'm going to leave it there. I need you to head over to Honor Club after this video if you want to see it for yourself. And trust me, you're going to want to see what happens next. 
Next up, we move on to Jonathan Gresham's pure championship title defense against the mercenary Flip Gordon. Flip Gordon originally puts Jonathan Gresham in the hammer lock. We talk about that chess player's mentality. Jonathan Gresham knows that's what's coming. He preempts it, and so he actually spins round. So before Flip has a chance to take the hammer lock, Gresham has already reversed it. So it's not even a reversal, it's a preemption, I suppose. Championship, we've talked about some of the names that have held it. Flip went to reverse that, but Jonathan Gresham rolled the reversal over his head. That's what I mean, Jonathan Gresham. Each wrestler knows that. Look at that. Wow. The wrestler knows about three ways to get out of a wrestler. Oh, move. And, and early. The early. Yeah. Gresham knows about 10. People often refer to jujitsu as human chess, but to me, the pure style is embodied by this approach that Jonathan Gresham has to the art form and the sport that we call professional wrestling. Oh! He's, oh! Oh! Now that's not good either. He's grabbing that knee, and he's already wrapped up both of his knees. What I will say though is, I think that Flip Gordon is actually a very underrated technical wrestler, and here's why. Picking at his prey like a vulture, it's Gordon. Nice. Suplex, great bridge. Two. Ooh. He has chosen that suplex specifically because he knows the knee is more weakened than usual, which means that particular suplex is going to be even more effective. Brilliant choice by Flip Gordon. It might be soon Woo. if Gordon can stick on this game plan. He's yep. got a bullseye on that knee right now. The last thing I want to talk about in this match is when Flip Gordon is really honing in on that knee. He's going for the submission, he's clutched the leg, Gresham rolls over and Flip manages to switch it into a single leg Boston Crab. And when that isn't getting the submission, Gresham gets closer to the ropes. Flip takes a second to pull Gresham back further away from where he needs to get to to sink in the STF. And you can see he starts off with the traditional grip that we're used to seeing, but we can spot there is some space between the arms of Flip Gordon, which means the choking effect of the STF is not 100% effective. But here is again where Flip Gordon shows his technical prowess. He changes the grip and moves it to a sleeper hold or as in uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu mixed martial arts the rear naked choke it's called but just before Flip has a chance to fully get that hold in Gresham clutches the ropes we know in pure rules if you run out of rope breaks then you can't get a rope break however what you can do is you can use the ring to your advantage we're gonna have a new champion submit to Flip was locked in at Gordon. Gresham using the ropes as a diversion. Oh! Both men to the outside. And that car crash to the outside of the ring there separates them both and it gives Gresham the space he needs to regroup. I'm not going to spoil the finish of the match or who became champion. To see that, get yourself over to Honor Club right now and see what happened. Folks, final battle was off the chain. Pay-per-view was unbelievable, top to bottom. I personally, hand on heart, believe we are putting out the best professional wrestling in the world today and I cannot wait to get on a plane and get back there but in the meantime thank you for watching the show thank you for checking out technique tuesdays and make sure to hit that subscribe button did i miss any moves you wanted me to talk about leave it in the comments like the video all that good stuff take care folks and i'll see you next time